in this video i'm going to show you how you can edit the archive page layout or the category page layout using the cadence theme so you need to have the cadence theme pro and the cadence blocks pro plugin in order to customize this archive page or the category page layout if you are interested in learning how you can customize this page using the cadence theme in wordpress and without further ado let's get started now so the first thing that you want to do is to click on this customize button right here and once you will click on this customize button the customizer will start getting loaded and once it will get loaded from here what you want to do is to click on this post or page layout and in here you will see this option archive layout click on this archive layout here you will see this option show archive title so this is the archive title if you want it to be above content you can keep this option if you want to make it in content you can enable this option and now this archive title is inside the content and if you want to completely hide this you can toggle this off and it will toggle this off entirely also if you want to display the breadcrumb you can enable this option here and here now you can see you have this breadcrumb showing up here you can move this breadcrumb be below the title just this way and it will appear like there let's just keep this above content just like the way it was showing then once again in the archive layout you get all of these options so you can choose the narrow layout a full width layout left sidebar layout or the right sidebar layout so let's just keep the right sidebar layout and then in here you have this option that which sidebar you want to use so cadence theme support two sidebar sidebar one and sidebar two I already showed you how you can create the sidebar using the cadence theme in the previous video. You can check that video in the channel. I will also drop that video in the description of this video. All right. From here, you can choose boxed. So this is the box layout or you can choose the unboxed. This is the unboxed layout. So I'll keep the box layout and then you can choose the number of columns. Let's just make it two columns. And now here you can see we have two columns in a row showing up something like now in here post item layout if you want to display the featured image you can show the featured image here if you want to hide the categories you can hide the categories and it will hide all of these categories that were showing here if you want to hide the meta you can hide the meta let's just display these categories from here and then if you want to hide the excerpt you can hide the excerpt if you want to hide the read more button you can hide the read more button from there so this is what you can do from here then if you will go to this design tab you can change all of these things so where it says archive title background you can change the color of this area right here and then you can also change the title color so i'll change the title color here you can change the description color i don't have any description for this and then you can change the breadcrumb color so here you can see the breadcrumb color is changed next up you have this background overlay color if you want to add an overlay color just like this you can add an overlay color if i reduce the opacity of this color you can see now we have a color and then blue color overlay over this background color next up we have this archive layout options again and that is first of all the archive title color so let's just change the color to the blue color to make it consistent so we have this blue color showing up here and then this item category color let's just keep it in red color then this meta color we don't have meta showing up in these cards here then if you want to change the side background and the content background color so for example you want to change the side background color to this color and the content background color to this color you can also do that so in this way you can actually customize this archive page layouts using the cadence themes i hope you have find this video helpful if you have find this video helpful be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates if you have any question drop them in the comment section I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.